I don't know if I know how to walk up to a microphone and not like say, what's up Nashville? met just before she moved to Nashville. He saw her at an event in New York City and a few days later he saw her at several events in Nashville at CMA Fest. I believe the first thing he said to her was, so where do you live? Which was funny because at the time she lived in neither place. <laughs> they went out on a date a few weeks after she arrived in Nashville and the rest is history. Devin doesn't talk that much, but he's always saying something. It's in Tupelo, Mississippi, and a girl shows up by his side, and my dad is there, and the guys in the band are there, and the guys' wives are there, and we're all going, who is this girl? Devin kind of introduces her, definitely does not introduce her as his girlfriend, who he's been dating for months. <laughs> but Devin may not talk that much, but he's saying something. In that moment he's saying, Dad, I don't want you to get involved right now. <laughs> well, we've made it. The journey to this moment has been full of moments, some great, some not so great, many of them unexpected. And as you embark on your new journey together, you'll face ups and downs, victories and challenges that you'll never be able to predict. While we don't know what the future will bring, one thing we do know is that you will be facing it together. I, Devin, take you, Alana, to be my wife, to love and to cherish until death do us part. Devin, I give you this ring as a constant reminder of my abiding love and lifelong commitment to you. Today, I've become your wife. Devin, you may now kiss your bride. Fast forward and you go, what do you all like to do? What do you do on dates or how do you spend time together? And they go, we like to watch movies. Uh, we like to watch horror movies, a lot of horror movies. You can chalk it up to, uh, yeah, of course Devin likes to watch movies with this girl because the movie can do the talking for him. He doesn't have to talk that much, but Devin doesn't talk that much, but he's saying something. He's saying, I can be still with this person. I can relax, I can be comfortable. Spending time with Alana has been incredible to see their friendship and how they get along and the weird quirks they have in common. Just as a brother has been so incredible to see when you really find your person. Devin never needed dad's approval or mom's or even mine. He needed Sophia's. Well, I can't say that I expected a 20 something guy to be excited about my kids. I was hoping that he would tolerate Auntie Lana's number one fans. The girls didn't stop talking about it for a year. <laughs> and they fell hook, line, and sinker for Devin the day they met him. Congratulations on your wedding. We have all been talking about this day for so long, and now it is finally here. I am so happy for you. Welcome to the family, Devin. I love you, Auntie. Today, I didn't even bother asking Devin if he was going to give a 3,000 word essay in his vows because I knew he probably wouldn't because Devin doesn't like to talk that much. But that ring on y'all's finger says more than anything you could ever say in front of all of us. It says forever. It says commitment. So in honor of that, in honor of them, in honor of today's world with so much talking, 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 I say we take a page out of Devin's book. 
and we talk a little less, but actually say something of value, of commitment, of honor, and love. Cheers.